Hello again and welcome back to Charlie's House Call Auto Repair. Today we're going to be doing another oil change. Hello and welcome to Charlie's House Call Auto Repair. Welcome back again. We got to do another oil change today. Nothing special. Um, and jack it up. Check the front end. Check tire pressure. You know, basically just get the oil pressure done or oil change. We've been uh, running Walmart brand. Um, I can't remember what the name of it is. Well, we can get in here you can see this or not 5,141 miles on the current oil and I have a feeling it's not gonna be as dirty as I would have expected and last time I checked the oil it looked pretty good so we're gonna be uh, jacking this thing up checking the tire pressure checking the front end uh, draining the oil putting a uh, new you know, Lexus, uh, so there's the part number for the oil filter. And the oil is this uh, Super Tech high mileage, full synthetic 5W30. We're gonna be pouring this stuff in. This is the same stuff that's what's in here now, so if I can get a stream uh, of the oil coming out and show you guys that it's not quite as dirty as you would think. And conventional oil just does not hold up like this stuff does. Make sure to set your emergency brake, your parking brake. You know what, your jack stands, jack, your oil filter, of course your oil, 14 millimeter wrench for the oil drain plug, 13 millimeter wrench in case I have a little difficulty with this, a set of gloves, garbage bag, and I forgot the oil catch pan. Oil catch pan and paper towels. Slide the jack underneath the car. Jack it up to a safe height. Put your jack stands underneath it. Go ahead and gently let it down on your jack stand. In this case, we got more than enough height off of one. We'll use just the one jack stand. We'll get the catch pan underneath there. Take the oil catch pan, trash bag. Get it all the way opened up. And in the corner of the bag, the corner of your catch pan. Get it right there in the corner. Give it a little twist. Slide it underneath. And we can get underneath. 14 millimeter on there. 13 millimeter locked onto the 14. Get a little tug. Now I like to take my fingers, bring my fingers up over the top of the nut. Kind of hold it so that it doesn't fall out. Get to the point where it starts dripping, it's right at the end of the threads, above, and then let it go. And you can see that oil's got a nice reddish, reddish brown. It's got a little oil dilution. I think I've got a fuel injector that's leaking a little bit. But 
It's not coming out black. That's at 5,500 miles. And while it's just finishing up draining, I'm gonna get up in here, grab a hold of your oil filter. I'm gonna need two hands for this. Turns out if I get in here with my other hand, and get a good grip on it, and persistent pressure. There we go. And I'll just leave it loose, let it drip for a little bit. Once it's pretty much done dripping, and you're all done dripping back there, go ahead and put your oil drain plug back in. Holding you guys sideways. Let's see, get up in here. Where is it? There it is. And make sure it turns nice and easily. Snug it all the way back in. And then go ahead and tighten it back down with the wrench. Right there. That's all you need. Go ahead and remove your old oil filter. Yeah, new oil filter's got a saran seal on it. You peel that off. This one, the seal even comes pre-lubricated. And I set the clean oil filter over there. Make it up underneath here. Oof. Tip that right down into your oil bucket. Sorry. Try to get you straight up and down here. And it's definitely a little on the hot side. I did not give this time to cool down. Now yeah, set that on the paper towel. Wipe off the hands. Go ahead and take the new one. that up started on there I like to kind of just gently hold up on it kind of roll it feel See, we're already starting to get on the threads now and then just basically as tight as you can get it with one hand and that's it and then you use one of your other paper towels just clean up around the mess that you made and while you're down here, just you know, look around and observe. You know, nothing's been going on, nothing weird, no clunks. Everything looks good. I don't know why there isn't a cover on the back side of that, but hmm, maybe it doesn't have to have one. Something sounds weird there. Something to look into. Uh, I just got it all cleaned up. It's all in nice and tight. It's time to go refill it. Yep, yeah, down in the car. Pull the hood release. Get the hood open, grab the little bar. Take off the cap. Now, if you're not really good at pouring, I'd recommend getting a felt, uh, a funnel. But take the container, hold it, handle down, lean it over, get it over there, and start pouring. As long as you're careful and slow and cautious and regulate how much you're tipping it, you can pull this off without making a huge mess. But if you have any, uh, any self-doubt that you can do this without making a mess grab yourself a funnel by the way cut the top off of a two liter soda bottle makes a great funnel for this this engine takes about four and a half to five quarts i always dump in the whole thing it leaves me a little bit over probably about a quarter of a quart over 
but uh, I haven't developed any seal leaks so I'm not concerned about being slightly over I also don't rev the daylights out of it so I wouldn't have to worry about oil pressure being up too high but, uh, yeah I'm pouring for pouring this for you real time now notice how I'm starting to rotate the bottle forward so they can maintain my flow and up check that out not a single drop spilled you go ahead and put your cover back on I did this once and I was actually filming this it was hilarious I actually uh, yeah with the sun to my back probably wouldn't be a good idea I actually got done filming I was uh, dumping in all the oil and uh, I could hear this noise water pouring I looked down underneath and there's oil overflowing my catch bucket because I forgot to put the oil drain plug back in yeah, using one of your paper towels pull your dipstick out have a good look at it make sure it's nice and dry wow you can't even see where it is on here this is right right here just above the little dot so that's about one quarter of a quart over and now all we gotta do is get underneath here clean this up slide this out I'll show you the neat little tricks that I've uh, learned over the years go ahead and Get everything out from underneath the car. Oil filter. Tray of oil. This is quite full, so we need to move it kind of slowly. And go ahead. Slide the jack underneath. Sunk it into the pavement a little bit. Car higher. <laughs> and try again. All right. Jack's in the way. Actually, I just put that away now. Go ahead and lower your car down. And go put your jack away. wind blowing it keeps trying to blow this over so I got the roll of garbage bags over here to hopefully keep it falling over the funnel slide that down in there I got this on top of a pet trainer just in case I do spill it all over the place that 
little flap that I got hanging over most of it. It's just following right off that flap instead of running right down the side of the bucket. Magic of all of this. Funnel out of here. Take this. Set it right in here. All the rest of this trash. Set it right in here. All this. Can't bring it back like this. I'm gonna wipe all this down. this cap. Close that container up. Nice and tight. Set that off to the side. Put the bags away. Let the funnel sit here and drain. Grab some more paper towels. Away. Access oil for this one. Nothing caught in the screen down there. That's good. Take the clean ones. And get all the uh, all the clean off of that. We'll put that away. Once you got everything all cleaned up, the wrenches aside, pull up the pet trainer, put it inside the bag, and then turn the bag inside out, off of the truck, the tub, and you know, we got a little bit of leakage someplace, but that'll be easy to clean up. Close up the hood and you're all done. I'll start the car. Make sure the oil pressure light goes out. Good to go. Now to turn off that maintenance light. Can't really see this. I don't know if I can get in here close enough where you can see this. Get to the uh, mileage odometer, turn the key off, turn the key back on, while holding the button, see the little dashes, and release, now your maintenance light is out, and you're good to go for another 5,000 miles. And to go about checking your tire pressure, you know, rocker's right here. Tells you what all your tire pressures are. In this case, we're doing all of our tires at 30 PSI. I like to run them at 32 just to keep them a little more firm. So, when I'm doing this, I'll go around the car. I'll take all four caps off. set them all right down by the base of the tire 
You can do them all one at a time, but just for simplicity, just do them all, all at once. Uh, you can, uh, you know, tire pressure gauge, just like this one here. Okay, we're at about 35 on this one. The back side of that. It's about 32. That one's about 35. Just a hair over. And that's how we check our tire pressure. We'll put all the little caps back on. And if you guys found this video helpful, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate the subscriptions, help my numbers grow. Maybe we can get a real garage and get you guys some really good information here. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. You know, for you guys that have never done an oil change before, I hope this simplifies the task for you. You've got plenty of time to do it. So just remember people, you got no more excuses. Pick up those wrenches.